and welcome to the Corpus Linguistics Workshop with Dr. Barami Hirishai. Today, we will look at how to search for a word in the Nkong version 4.2.0 and present the results in the concordance line format. This function is called Keyword in Context or Quick and is on the top left of the interface. To do this, first, we need to select a corpus. So let's select American English 2006. Now to search for a word, you need to type the search word in the box right here. Today, we will look at the word interested. After typing, you can click on start. Now, we see the concordance lines, so the search term is at the center of the screen, making it easier to see which words tend to follow it and which tend to come before it. Please note that the lines are arranged based on how frequent the words co-occur with the search term. Here, we can see that interested tends to be followed by the preposition in on the right. This way, we can notice the typical patterns and collocations of the search word more easily. One thing to note is that there are quite a lot of concordance lines to analyze. At the top of the screen, you will find that interested occur 85 times. We can adjust the number of lines shown per page by adjusting page size here. Like this. Also, we can reduce the number of lines to make them more manageable in a systematic way. You can click on the result set tab right here set the number of concordance lines that the software will randomly select for you. Let's select 50 random hits and here are the results. Now there are some symbols to make the searches more flexible. To give you some Examples, you can use the asterisk as a wildcard for one or more character. For example, if you type interest and an asterisk like this, okay, you get interest, interested, interestingly, um, and also interest. Therefore, this kind of search has more coverage. Also, you can search for various terms by doing advanced searches by clicking on the box right here. Okay. Then in the top box, you can add your search term. Okay, click on search query list and then add the search term. Okay, uh, so let's type the word left, add it there, and then type the word right, and then add this, and then click on the apply button right here, and then click on start. So here you can see the concordance lines of the word left and the word right. That's it for this video. I hope you will now be able to search for a word and create concordance lines in NCONG version 4.2.0. Thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for the next video. Until then, goodbye.